All right, guys, I just wanted to cover this really quick. Um, it's come up a few times. Uh, I've got customers that want to make a copy of like an assembly or drawing. But when they look at the data card and like the properties of the file, they have information that they want cleared for this new copy, right? Maybe it's like the, the drawing number um, or who was created by or who was checked by, information like that. So the best way to make a copy of this drawing and to clear out that information automatically every time is to use copy tree. So if you go up to tools, you can find copy tree there, right? Or you can add it to your right click menu. Um, but to clear those values, it's not gonna do it automatically. You have to tell it which variables you need cleared. Um, easy way to figure out which variables we have is go over to the right side here, click on this little help icon and then click on the field. So there's author needs to be cleared. And let's skip the date on that one too. And the other uh, one there is date. All right, so to actually set this up, um, you can go two ways. So you could do your actual user if you have permissions to do it uh, by coming up here and saying customize menus, All right? And then there's a copy tree option here. So I have document number already being cleared. Um, or if you're the admin, uh, maybe you wanna do this to a whole group, you could pull up the admin tool, go down to our users and groups, and maybe for engineering, I want to set set this up for everybody on the engineering team. Go to settings, copy tree. I'll add a variable here. And author is the one that we wanted to do. And I would just set that to maybe just a, a space. You know, if you had uh, placeholders on your title block, you could do like XX or something like that, whatever you want to put in there. And then uh, you know, just put in as many as you want to clear. So that's all, guys. All right. Have a good one.